Hey guys, it is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another apartment renovation. And we are at 1312 21 Sheik Street, which is Penny Pizzazz's apartment, one of my favorite apartment units in San Myshuno, mainly because it's a reasonable size. <laughs> it's actually on the smaller side compared to some of the other units, which means that I... I don't know, I feel like I struggle more to come up with floor plans, but I kind of like the challenge. So that's where we're at. And I am renovating this apartment for a older brother who was raising his younger sister. And now this is, I'll say inspired. I mean, it is and it isn't. So I, very long story short, at the time of me recording this, uh, we had a really bad snowstorm in New England and I lost power for a couple days, which is totally normal. Um, I, I was kind of unfazed. Anyway, completely normal. But um, what your girl did is she preloaded a bunch of books on her Kindle. And I read literally all day. Um, I think I think it was like a Saturday or Sunday or something. I finished two super long books. But one of them was about this older brother who was raising, kind of sort of raising his little sister. Like he was 30 or something and his little sister was four big age gap, um, but it was really sweet. It was like a really heavy book, but it was also really, really nice. It was a romance. I love, love me a romance book. You guys know this. Um, and when I decided I really needed to build something because I'm really trying to get out of this rut, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to just work on an apartment instead of trying to build an exterior. Let me just kind of get back into decorating again and picking out objects and like going into the catalog because the catalog is super overwhelming to me, especially when I've kind of taken a break. So I came here and I was like, I'm gonna make something for an older brother who's raising his little sister and she loves the color purple. So there is just a ton of purple all over the place. I think that he just kind of let her go wild with choosing things. Um, I mean, granted, everything's pretty coordinated, but I think that he tried to incorporate a lot of purple in their primary living spaces. So, I don't know, just so she felt at home, that she felt like it was her space as well. And I really liked that idea. And it made me all emotional because the book I read, um, wait, I should probably give you guys the title. Hold on. <laughs> I think it was The Brightest Ray of Sunshine or The Brightest Light of Sunshine, something like that. It's by Licinia Cooney or Coney. I don't, I, I could be mispronouncing the last name. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful book. It was wonderful. Anyway, uh, we're working on the kitchen and the little dining space. And I always forget, I keep forgetting that every time you go into an apartment, you can actually change out the windows now, which is fantastic. I've been using these windows from Get Famous because I just think they're perfect. I don't know what it is, but I just think they're perfect for the apartments. I know on the exterior, obviously it's not going to match, but I don't care. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. I don't care. And now we're working on the living room, which is very cluttered. I tried to put like toys all over the place. I tried to just add all those little touches that there is a younger child here and they have pretty much taken over all of the living spaces, but the older brother really just doesn't care because again, just wants her to feel like she's at home. And I don't know, it was kind of a fun color scheme. I don't typically use a lot of black and purple together. because For me, it can often be very harsh. Like it's a, it's a really stark contrast between the two. They're just like really bold colors and they're not really colors that I enjoy all that much, but I really enjoy this combination and I don't know really where it came from. I also mixed some different wood tones. I kind of use these more orangey wood tones, a lot of stuff from Tiny Living, which I thought matched really nicely. I think it complemented things nicely. And we have like a really modern kitchen too with the, what's it called? Dream Home Decorator. There we go, Dream Home Decorator things. So it was, it was kind of fun. It's not really a color scheme that I would gravitate towards naturally, but I really enjoyed it. And I tried to carry it through the living room, the kitchen, obviously the dining space, which is combined, as well as, I, I don't know if I really carried it in the bathroom. There's like some purples and stuff, like there's, there's touches of it, but it's not anything wild. And then in the brother's room, it's blacks and still kind of these orangey wood tones as well, but he needed his own space that was just, I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to go with like a little bit more masculine. <laughs> it was he, he needed his own space. He needed his own kind of color scheme going on. He wanted to escape the purple. It just wasn't a color that he enjoys. Um so he left that to his sister and all of these living spaces. Her room is like super purple and pink and blue and kind of orangey actually now that I think about it too. But anyway, I'm talking through the living room. I'm talking about other rooms while I'm working on the living room, which is odd. Anyway, I haven't had a voiceover in a while too, so just bear with me. But yeah, the living room's coming together. We have a lot of decorative stuff too, because again, I just wanted there to be little accents of this child just 
running amok in this apartment. I've got little sneakers by the door. Here's her backpack. We've got like a schedule over there. I wanted her to play soccer in my head. I know kids can't play soccer. They can like juggle the ball and stuff, but there's no after school activity or anything. But I put a, a soccer ball next to the backpack as well, I believe, just to kind of show a little bit of her interests as well. Now, I don't really know much about the brother. I think that he enjoys like playing video games and stuff like that. I gave him his own setup because honestly, who doesn't love playing video games? But I'm not sure what he does for work. I'm not sure the circumstances surrounding why he is raising his little sister. Um, but that is kind of up for for you guys to decide. You know, whatever whatever you feel fits that kind of story, whatever dynamic you feel fits this apartment as well. It doesn't have to be a brother and little sister. It could be like a young dad and his young daughter or I don't know, cousins raising cousins. It could be whatever the heck you want it to be. Doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm rambling. I guess I do because I haven't done voiceover in a long time. And I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sound like a broken record at this point, but my throat is still killing me. So I might pause a few times during this voiceover to just like take a breath. I don't know what it is. I probably have to go back to the doctor, <laughs> which does not enthuse me at all. But it's just on the right side of my throat. Like it's just been bothering me. I can talk fine, but I still have a cough that I have to suppress all the time. I know it's not unusual after having like COVID and the flu and stuff to have a lingering cough, but y'all, I had COVID in December and then I had the flu. I don't even remember. Time's an enigma for me at this point, <laughs> but I had it shortly after and then I got sick again. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just perpetually sick at this point. This is just, this is just how I exist. I I don't know, but I'm working on the brother's room right now. And like I mentioned, it's just lots of blacks, a lot of like darker, I would say calming tones. And he's got like some posters up on the wall. He's got this dresser over in the corner. He's got a mirror over the bed. I say mirror funny. I don't emphasize all of all of the letters. I'm just realizing this, <laughs> just realizing this, the mirror, <laughs> like I drop a bunch of letters. Uh, and then again, he's also got his own gaming setup as well. He's got a bookcase in there too. Um, I don't know, I felt like having a computer, having a computer in a lot of my Sims apartments or homes in general is pretty much a non-negotiable because there's so much that your Sims can do, but I did give him, like I mentioned, the fancy kind of like gaming streaming setup as well. So maybe he streams, I don't know, maybe he does that for fun. Maybe that's how he catches up with his friends since he's so busy taking care of his sister in general that that's kind of his, his way to unwind, connect with a lot of his friends since he can't maybe go out as often, something like that. And I don't know, I really liked his space. I thought it was still really cozy, even though it was really dark. Like I said, black is not usually a color that I use a ton, but I did really like his space. I also think he does like little home workouts and stuff because again, he doesn't have a lot of time to you know go to the gym or anything like that. Um, and then I end up working on the little sister's room and I did use this bed from the little camper's kit. I always hesitate using it in an actual home like this because it's quite literally a cot but I really like the comforter swatches. So I ended up using it anyway. And you can kind of, I kind of covered some of those cot like details with the end table over there. So hopefully that's okay by you all. And if you don't like the bed, you can of course always swap it out. But her room ends up being really cluttered as I typically do in kids rooms. Like I go nuts with clutter in kids rooms. I think it's the perfect place to do it. She's got her own television over here and these wardrobes aren't necessarily accessible especially the one over in the corner with the television. So I do give her another wardrobe that is accessible, primarily using these just as, I don't know, just as a way to display some toys and things like that. Maybe it's a bunch of art supplies. Maybe she's super into art and she just has like these storage cabinets where she puts all of her art supplies to keep the apartment kind of sort of clean, maybe kind of sort of contained, but not really. I also gave her that little like piggy bank, some bubbles, the little marbles jar. So there's a bunch of activities. Then we've got the little like Dr. Teddy Bear set. We've got this little, what's it called? Well, it's basically a decor item from Growing Together, which I thought was really cute. And then we've got, I wanna say it's an arts and crafts table, like the creativity table as well, just to give her some kid activities, which is kind of tough because a lot of the kid activities in game, as I've probably mentioned a million times, are really big. So the activity table, like the creativity table is the easiest thing in my opinion to plop down because the chemistry station's huge. It's just, it's a lot. The dollhouses are really big, even though you can shrink them down and still have them be functional. But I also added this big stuffed toy. My favorite one of all time is this uh, Bigfoot stuffy. I freaking love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I put it in almost every kid's room. And then I also put these little like wall string light things. 
I always forget about them because I believe we got them with the infant update to base game a long time ago. I want to say, if I'm wrong, I, I, I could be wrong, but I always forget about them. I always forget that we have them. So I was excited to use those here. I love the rug from the, what's it called? The, the color pop, the pop color kit thing. The, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I don't remember. There's also the little friendship bracelet uh, thing too. So we've got a lot of stuff for the kiddo. Anyway, um, this voiceover is like really rambly. I, I am gonna apologize for it again because I'm really trying, but I don't really have much to talk about either. I've just been sick like that. <laughs> it's not exactly fun. I've just been sick and watching a lot of television and like reading a lot of books and trying to survive the snowstorms that decided to show up in April of all months. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. We just decorate the bathroom really quickly. Nothing exciting there. I pretty much saved it to the end knowing it wasn't gonna be super duper enthralling for all of you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Stop.